This podcast contains subject matter that may be disturbing to some listeners. Listener discretion is advised. Four imprints, one. One. It's time to open the door in your mind. Sit back and listen to true horror. But be careful what you allow in. Because it's time to go through Through the fog. fog. This week's story is Why Aren't They Answering Their Phone? Posted by user DarkHeroX to r slash scary stories. The dinner table's set. The wine is poured. I've cooked the roast perfectly and everything is absolutely spotless. My heart was beating with anticipation for them to come home. Tonight we're celebrating our anniversary. I feel like such a little girl. I spent all afternoon getting my makeup just right and making sure I have the dress I have fit perfectly. Jason's favorite color is green, so I made sure to get his favorite shade for my dress and even what's underneath. I can't help but giggle as I imagine the look on his face when he walks in. I spared no expense for tonight. After all, it's been a whole year since we've been together. I check the time on my phone. It's already 8.25 p.m., but he's still not home yet. He gets off from the office at around 7 p.m. with traffic. It shouldn't take him long to get home. I try calling his phone, but there's no answer. So I shoot him a text. Hey, honey, where you at? Nothing. That's not entirely strange. He's probably driving, and he hates texting and driving. But he should have the nerve to not be late for tonight. I've been telling him about dinner all day. I calm my nerves. Baby is running along on gas and drove to the station. I'm just being a little clingy today. I haven't seen him all day, so of course I miss him. Seconds passed and I grow more and more anxious. I called him again. Hey baby, it's me. It's getting late. Where are you? Just call me back, okay? I went onto my phone and searched if there's any traffic accidents in our area. There have been a couple just recently. Oh, God. Jason drives a red Honda Civic. So I checked to see if they have any info on the cars. Blue Mustang, black BMW. Thank goodness. No red Civic. It's 838. Now I decide to send him another text. Sweetie, I told you I was getting things ready for dinner tonight. I told you how special tonight is. Nothing. Now I'm starting to panic. And I call his friends and family. None of them were picking up. Am I the only one that's freaking the fuck out? Jason has gone missing, and I'm the only one that gives a shit. I get on my phone and I log into his Facebook account. Nothing out of the ordinary. He hasn't messaged anyone recently. Log into his email. No sign of him working late. I search on the internet for any other accidents. Kidnaps, murders, shootings, stabbings, hostage situation. Where is my Jason? I collapse onto the floor. The smell of the meat cooking in the oven is starting to become burnt. The scent of the smoke is starting to fill the air and it's nauseating. Why isn't he answering me? I call him another fucking time. But there's an answer. Deep, gruff voice answers. But it's not Jason. Who the hell are you? I shout into the phone. Who is this? The voice asked. I'm Janet. Why do you have my husband's phone? I said angrily. Don't worry. He's safe with us. We're on the way to you right now. They hung up and I was losing my shit. Who the hell was that? Where's my husband? I called again and again, but there was no answer. I see car headlights shine from the living room window next to the front door. I glance outside and I see four police cars on the lawn flashing the red and blues. No, 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 no. I couldn't help but shriek. I gathered all of my things, my dress, my makeup, my rope, my knives, and I ran upstairs. I hear the police barging into the front door, but they won't see me. They can't find me. I made a special place within the walls upstairs. They won't be able to see me. I can hear them making a fucking mess downstairs. I can hear them talk. Don't go into the kitchen. And don't look in the fucking oven. Call forensics ASAP, a voice said. He sounded sick. The man's wife is... The man's wife is cut up and she's cooking in the fucking oven. They ruined my dinner surprise. Another voice said, Who the hell would do something like this? The man has no idea who this woman was. She started texting him out of the blue today, saying it was their anniversary, another voice spoke. 
There's no sign of my husband. No sign of my darling Jason. But it's okay. They'll never find me. I'll come back for him. Through the Fog was recorded by Haptic. Edited by Brad LeBaron, Haptic, and Kevin Caravan. And produced by Flyover State Park. All stories are recorded either with the author's permission or with a Creative Commons share-like license. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find the links to Haptic and Flyover at State Park's link trees down in the show notes. There you can find links to our podcast on other platforms, as well as Twitter and other social media and YouTube links. Redistribution or sale of this podcast is strictly prohibited without the express written consent of both Haptic and the story authors. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you next week. This is Flyover State Park. You are clear to land.